They took the mickey out of me on a website called commonpurpose.net because in an early talk in September 2007, I said we were getting indications that paedophiles were connected with common purpose. Now, we had indications, but we now know for certain that this gentleman, who was the leader of a horrible paedophile ring in Scotland, they were recently sentenced, was trained by common purpose. Do I think they knew when they recruited him? Probably not. But what's interesting is to do common purpose courses you have to be approved by a common purpose advisory board and the advisory board that approved this man contained one senior police officer. Now this charity operates in the secret, in secret under Chatham House rules. So there aren't proper minutes to meetings. They are using neurolinguistics to influence people's behavior. They are secretive. They look out for one another. They work in the soft sector, social services, schools, colleges. Now the subject is not nice, but you're all adults. We have a huge problem with paedophilia. And a police officer approached me after the last talk I did and said he'd been involved with a team looking at child prostitution, child trafficking, paedophilia, in London, a massive network, and they worked for 18 months to uncover it. They produced a very detailed report. They knew how to break the rings. The report went into the police system and nothing happened. It was squashed. And the man was so disgusted, he said, there are many of us who want to talk and are going to talk. We discussed some things. We discussed some things, and he said, Brian, if you want to know where the paedophiles are in Parliament, I suggest you look towards the Tory party. If you think paedophiles are dirty old men in raincoats, you're wrong. They are all types. And the police officer also corrected me, because I thought most of them were men. Well, they're not, and you might have seen the headlines in Plymouth recently. The depravity in Parliament is not a bit of fiddling of expenses or a little bit of nookie with your mole in your office. It's not about expenses or drugs or a bit of cannabis sniffing by the Cabbage Patch dolls. <laughs> it's not about that. The big secret is children. And we have got to get to grips with this issue. This is why I'm telling you the battle's serious, but you can use humour to break it open. So we know Common Purpose's secret environment is a fertile breeding ground with a connection of children for people like this man. NLP, changing people's values by fiddling around with their minds. I could be doing it to you now, I promise I'm not, I'm just trying to give a normal talk. But I can prove to you that we've got people doing NLP training working with the Leadership Academy for Policing. Please. I've got another man, psychometric testing. It's a good idea to know the personality before you program them. And here we've got another lady. She's into psychometrics, and she's also a common purpose NLP person. So we know who we're looking for, and I think I know why the police are changing. And interestingly, I've now got police officers taking information from me, because they've worked out why they're changing. Now, we've got to learn to fight, because it's pretty horrible. And this is the good news, so I can bring you up a bit now, and I think I'm running to time, just... You've got to recognise the enemy, and the enemy's amongst you. It doesn't have a turban and a big black beard. That is absolute nonsense. It's not Islam. The enemy is your own MPs.
you've got to understand them. They are inherent serial liars. Some of them can't lie, in fact, because they don't know what the truth is. These people are disgusting liars, and you have to recognise them. They are in amongst us. They've created this cuckoo, and the cuckoo is pushing forward the agenda. That's why you feel this beast rolling over you, but you can't quite see it or touch it. It's because the new political agenda is being pushed through the third sector, and you need to get in the face of your MP and explain it to them. If you know how the enemy works, you can stop them, but you can't fight an enemy you can't see. So we are trying to help you learn to fight. You are the ones who are going to fight. There's only a few bad guys. A few. Not many at all. They control massive amounts of money and material, but there's only a few of them. What do they want to do? I want you to remember this when you leave this room. They want to destroy us utterly. If we are not a profitable slave, they want to destroy us. And they're now already talking about reducing the population of UK. Some of you might have heard Mr. Porritt. And they are doing it by deceit, by subversion. So don't focus on Brussels, focus on this country. How do we get rid of them? We expose them. Because if you have a plan which is based on it being hidden, if you bring it to the light, it's obvious, like John Harris has just done with you, you can then laugh and take the thing apart. It doesn't matter whether it's Tony Blair, Straw, Cameron, Clegg, whoever, Ed Balls, Bilderberger, it doesn't matter when they are exposed, they are effectively neutralised. Our little paper is not very popular in Parliament. It's read by the Labour cabinet and has been for over a year and I now know that the Conservatives are very upset because we've identified Cameron as a Cabbage Patch doll <laughs> and they thought he was a man. <laughs> so these are the odds, all right? We've got to get to grips with horrible things and you are going to learn things which absolutely disgust you. I'm not going to do it this afternoon. It is horrible what has been constructed out there and we're going to deal with it, but look at the odds. Bad guys, maybe there's 5,000 in, in, in UK. People with real power and influence, I reckon it's nearer 500. It may only be 50, we can debate this. How many good people? Most of us, most of the electorate, except most of them are asleep, will still believe in party-type politics. All of us are in this. It doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter what colour you are. It doesn't matter where you came from. If you are in the British Isles today, you are at risk. So we need to bring people together to activate the 40 million. So, If you go on a worldwide scale, it gets better. The odds are better and better. I'd rather have the nine billion on my side. And if you've got faith, and you need to have it, because this battle isn't just men and politics, it's spiritual, it's evil out there, and you need to confront it, I like these odds. So I think we can be quite happy. Let's get the news out to people, because... The lawful rebellion is the way of taking the lid off the lies, deceit and horrible things. And when we get the lid off, it will all start to evaporate. So my recommendation is start to study what we've given you so far. Tell your friends, even when they laugh at you. If they laugh too much, leave them alone, move on to the next person. But we have to tell people we have to rebel, otherwise we are going to be culled, but we must rebel lawfully and with no violence. Thank you very much.